Okay. Uh, so, here's the magical part about this chapter and this section. You're going to find out that electrochemistry is totally related to thermodynamics, which is totally related to equilibrium. So, all that stuff you learned in 2B is mathematically uh, connected uh, to all this electrochemistry. And that's why this section will come after thermodynamics uh, in the curriculum. So, uh, and it's just kind of amazing whenever you can connect various concepts and, and put them together in one section. So what uh, turns out is that, uh, let's write uh, the potential. Say we have a potential that's like a East E cell or something like that. Uh, that's in units of voltage. That uh, is equal to, uh, I'll put this on the right hand side, joules per coulomb or an energy per charge unit. Well, it turns out that's defined as a work. Remember, work from 2B where work is, uh, you know, it's the stored energy that can do work. And this is per charge unit. We haven't seen too much of this before. But a coulomb is a charge unit. And so if I write that out in another way, uh, work equals charge times potential. or W equals Q times E squiggly, where E is the potential. Uh, and because in this case, the system is going to be doing work because it's producing electricity, does anybody remember, is that a positive or a negative if the system does work? That's a negative. Well, Q, the charge, uh, is equal to these two, I guess, variables slash constants, n times f. Let me tell you what those are. f is a constant, and that's 96,485 coulombs per mole of electron. That's just a constant. Constant, it's a measured constant. That'll be given to you. n is the moles of electrons transferred in a redox uh, reaction. I'll give you an example of that in a little bit. It is moles like you think of PV equals NRT moles, but it's a specific type of moles. Uh, verbally, just what it is, when you add a, a redox reaction where there's reduction in oxidation, uh, when you're adding those two, you have to cancel out the electrons, right? Well, the number of electrons that you cancel out on both sides in order to add them up, that's N. So if you cancel out, like in the previous uh, question we did, that would have been two moles of electrons would have canceled on both sides. So N would equal two here. Uh, we'll do some other examples where I'll, I'll show you how that works. But you need to find the amount of moles that essentially are transferred slash cancel when you add two half reactions up to make a redox reaction. Okay. So let's kind of, uh, oh, and one more thing. Our work. We're just, uh, our work is going to be, uh, we're going to say is essentially defined as the Gibbs free energy. So essentially all the, all the work that is done is done by the free energy. Uh, if you vaguely remember what free energy is, free energy has to do with the uh, amount of energy left over in the system that can do work. So it's leftovers. Think of what you make macaroni and cheese, the leftovers that is still edible. That's delta G. Okay? So it's the leftover energy that is useful. 
The leftover energy that's not useful has to do with entropy, but this is useful energy. So that's delta G. So if I put all this together, delta G is going to equal negative NF times E squiggly, which is the cell potential. And I can write that in one other way. Delta G standard is equal to minus NF E standard. So both of these equations are extremely important. They convert between the idea of electrochemistry to that of thermochemistry. Delta G is thermochemistry.